it's 9.30. The land of nada. A lot of depositors out already. Supposed to be 90 in the high 90s today. Beach looks flat. I don't see no scallops in it. It looks good to me. Last night reports bleak. Last three days bleak. Maybe today will be the day. Gold. The ring man's with me. We just passed the Guru. And Bobby Whitfield is just south of us. I don't know about anybody else. But I like the way it looks. Stand by. We'll see what happens. That well, looks like the ring man is on the first target of the day. Might be in China, he said. That thing goes deep. No shallow target. Just once in a while. Stand by. A gutter nail. Gutter nail. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> places just like a little pockets look at this little pocket right here nice pocket right here we ain't found anything bottle caps in the floor and some taquitos Maybe the ring man's gonna dig out of this hole we got it nope bye bye Oh, there's a piece of I copper? I guess it's that. Piece 1234. Oh yeah, a piece of copper. Things are kind of bleak here. Now, Ring Man, how are you making out today? Not too good. I got some bottle caps. They're picking up now, bottle caps are. I, I got bottle caps too. I, I got <laughs> one piece of plane that looks good that doesn't ring up yet. I got, I got a piece of foam. I got plenty of that kind of crap. Aluminum and new name and stuff. I got so much, uh, it's almost like Ocean View here. I know it. That bracelet thing. I got, a, I got an orange, orange red pull tab. That's the nicest thing I got. Yeah, I got one of those too. A lot of bottle caps. 12, 19, 12, 21. Here's the, uh, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Earring or something. Yeah, it's got ice in it. Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, for a straight 4.2. Stud. Stud's been over. Iceberg. Land of Island. I wonder where the Guru and Bobby are. They must have went south. I ain't seen sign no hell. I seen a couple of holes back there. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Alright, let's... Let's wander on. Well, we've come to the end of our journey. You can see there's plenty of depositors. All everywhere. There's no taquitos. Except for the two-legged guy. I'm uh, done. For at least till Monday. I am over this bleakness. Stand by. That's going to end my detecting career in the land of Nada until at least Monday, maybe Tuesday. The end. My two dollars ninety-five cent cleaver sold on eBay for thirty-eight bucks. 
and get rid of the shipper to Washington State. <clears throat> see you tomorrow, uh, see you Monday. I got the knife gig Saturday. Sounds like it's going to be a big Saturday. I don't know what the gig's going to be, but I had a lady call me today, say she's got at least 12 or 15 knives. She wants me to come by and pick up on Saturday. So we'll have to wait and see how it goes, but sounds like a better day. Good luck to everybody. We'll see you later. Well, I dropped off the cleaver at the post office and I was only about a mile from the thrift store, so I figured I'd shoot on over there and see what was there. This says it's a Marks Pro. It's like a little fillet knife. 75 cents. I give it to some of my fishing buddies or maybe my daughter. Then I got a Victor Knox, Fort Chester, old Santuco for 99 cent. It's got a little chip right down the tip of it. That'll go in my knife box. And then I picked up three of those nice vintage Cutco's today. One's a chef's knife, $2.98. That's probably worth 40 or 50 on eBay. Then I got a long, it's like a butcher knife style serrated knife. I don't know what, I'll have to check that one out along with this long serrated bread knife. Pay $1.98 and $1.98 for those two. Old wooden handles and cut clothes. I, think I put them on eBay Monday, Tuesday or something like that. When I'm not at the land and not finding nothing. Backup plan. Plan B. <laughs> I'll see you later.